All right, hello, this is Ed, and I believe Oreco Mike Bravo. We're going to quickly go over how to find the shortcut file to add an ADIF file to our N3FJP. So let's get to it. We're going to hit File, Import, ADIF. And we are looking for adding the FT8 log. So it's the WSJTX underscore log dot ADI. And you notice we've created a shortcut for it here. So let's go talk about where to find that shortcut. Let's go right to our file folder. And this is the path that you're going to find to get there. You're going to go to your C drive. You're going to go to users. Under users, you go to your profile name that you use for your computer. You're going to find app data under app data you're going to go to local under local you're going to scroll all the way down to wsjt-x and here you will find these files the one that we're looking for is called wsjtx underscore log and it may or may not have this notepad as a link i might have opened this with notepad at one time but it's an ADI file, WSJTX underscore log, all lowercase. That's the one you're looking for. And you're going to simply right click on it. And you're going to hit create a shortcut. And then once you do that, you can just drag that over here. And we'll, we'll just stick that on our desktop for a moment. Okay. So WSJTX underscore log, all lowercase, right click, create shortcut. And I drag the shortcut over to my desktop. And I can close that out. Now I can open up back to my log again. I can even make my log a little bit smaller just in case. File. Import ADIF. Import what? Well, grab that and put it in there. So there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete that one because I already have it in there. But there is the uh, file right there. And that's all you have to do uh, in accordance with that last video that we put up on how to utilize the N3FJP log with FT8. So that's how you get that shortcut in there. Thank you for watching, and I hope that helps you out.